Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Brandon and I'm a new grad neuro ICU nurse. I currently live in Albuquerque, New Mexico and I recently graduated with my BSN. Um, today's video is to help a lot of you guys out and that is focusing on med surge. Specifically, how to study for med surge. So, med surge is definitely one of the challenging subjects in nursing school. I struggled with it, with certain concepts. And you know, going through med surge 1, med surge 2, finally at med surge 3, I was able to narrow it down and really target and study specifically for med surge and how to pass med surge. So today's video is about how to study for med surge and I really hope you guys enjoy this tip or these tips. And before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, help me grow this channel, and let's get straight into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about with med surge is when you're studying med surge, divide it into the pathophysiology first and the basic science. So we know med surge have respiratory, cardiovascular, oncology, hematology, reproduction, burn, um, what else? Endocrine, musculoskeleton, neurology. That's the general pathology of med surge. So focus on that first. So let's start with respiratory. So respiratory is one patho under med surge. Respiratory have multiple different pathology as well. Under respiratory system, you would have pneumonia, you have COPD, you have asthma, you have emphysema, you have bronchitis, upper and lower obstructive respiratory diseases. So that is respiratory alone, and you break it down further into the different patho. So let's see, so after you do the patho and figure out which one you're focusing on, go into the pharmacology of that patho. So let's take respiratory again, and in respiratory it's pneumonia, and for pneumonia, what patho would you expect? You would expect to see some anti-infectives, some, some kind of medication to fight that pneumonia, some kind of anti-infective, some expectorants, something like that. So look at the pharmacology specifically for those patho. The next thing I would suggest doing is look at the nutrition. So per patho, what nutrition would you expect that patient to be on? So let's say a pneumonia patient, you know, they would not be on a fluid restriction diet. You'd want them to increase their fluids, right? So that's the nutrition, just one example for pneumonia under respiratory. The next thing I would do is how to study for this specific patho. Look at the diagnostic study is needed. What do you need to do to diagnose pneumonia? What tests are required? What tests would the provider order? Those tie into the patho. So for pneumonia, you'll probably expect like a chest x-ray. You'll expect the skin test, stuff like a blood culture, stuff like that. So look at the diagnostic. Move on to now, you're gonna focus on the developmental milestone. So respiratory, pneumonia, which age group is this? Is this peds? Is this adult? Is this older adult? Is this maternity? Is this a maternity which is adult? So look, based on the developmental milestone, the nutrition would vary. The drug would vary. You have specific stuff. So you see how all of this makes sense? Instead of just studying med surge in general, really break it down. After you look at the developmental milestone, the other suggestion is what physiological care is going to be needed. So with pneumonia, physically, what would that patient need to maybe help breathe? Would they need a CPAP, BiPAP, um, a nasal cannula? What do they need at home? Do they need oxygen at home for a COPD patient? In terms of home with oxygen, what safety do you need to teach those patients? You get it? You're following the train? And finally, you want to look at the psychosocial needs. Never forget the emotions in med surge. With, let's say, pneumonia or COPD, anxiety, especially with asthma, Anxiety is going to be there, hyperventilation, you're anxious, you can't breathe. Address those psychosocial needs and you'll get to calm your patient down and get to the baseline of it. 
So I really do hope this makes sense, guys. I know I went through that very quickly, but just to recap, how to study for med surge. One, what patho are you gonna look at? Is it cardio, respiratory, hematology, oncology, um, neuromuscular? Which general patho? From there, which specific patho is it? So it's the respiratory system, is it pneumonia? Is it asthma? Is it COPD? Is it emphysema? From there, okay, it's pneumonia. What medications go with pneumonia? From there, what diet would my pneumonia patient would be on? That's nutrition. From there, what diagnostic studies is needed to diagnose pneumonia? From there, which client am I treating that has pneumonia? Is it an adult, a pediatric client, or a geriatric client? What psychosocial needs is this client exhibiting right now? Are they anxious? Are they in denial? Or are they sad? And what physical stuff do I need to provide this client with? So I really do hope this video helps. I know it was short. Please like and subscribe. Share with a friend. Leave a comment. Let me know if it was helpful. And I'll make quick, informative videos like these on how to study. So this is my first study tip video. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy. Go ahead, go crush med surge. You guys got this.